Hello everyone, Edge here with the ViewSonic G-Tab and uh, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to show how I'm going to go from TNT Lite 2.20 to Vegan Mod uh, 1.0 Beta. Now I'm not even connected via USB so I'm going to do that now. Um, this video should cover the entire process of, of moving over from from this uh, this ROM to the next using Clockwork Mod. So as you saw, I had a uh, alert come up that said that my USB was connected. So I'm going to turn on USB storage. It says if you turn on USB storage, some applications you are using will stop and may be unavailable until you turn off USB storage. That's fine. So we're going to wait right now while the USB storage turns on and it is recognized by my PC. Okay, so here uh, my computer has recognized the connection and it says use folder to open uh, or use folder to view files. Now what I'm going to do is I've created a folder called Flash Me and the reason I did that is because it's just easy for me to remember that that's where I'm keeping all the stuff I want to flash with Clockwork Mod when I pick a zip. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Now right here on my desktop is where I saved the GTAB Vegan 1.00 Beta 1. All I'm going to do is grab that zip file. I'm not doing anything to it. I'm not unzipping it or anything. I'm just grabbing it and I'm just going to dump it straight onto uh, or into that folder, into that FlashMe folder that is uh, on my G tablet. As you can see, it's copying the files over pretty quickly. And as soon as it's done copying those files, then what I'm going to do is uh, move focus back over to my G tablet because that's where the rest of the work is going to take place. Okay, now we're back on the G tablet. Um, we're finished moving files, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off USB storage. Now it's turned off, so we'll get tell to cancel that connection. And I'm going to disconnect the USB. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut off the uh, G tablet. It says power off. Yes, my device will shut down. Now what I'm going to now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, boot it back up into Clockwork Mod. And the first thing I'm going to do is make a backup of this image. So the way I, we boot it into Clockwork Mod is using the power and the volume buttons with the volume up. Press on the power. And when you do that, it says there, detect a uh, recovery key pressed at the top left. And now we're in Clockwork Mod. If you've watched my other videos, you've, you've probably seen this before. First thing we're going to do now is we're going to do a backup. And using the up and down volume keys, and then using the home button to select, we're going to do a backup. And there we go. And now it says backing up boot. This is going to take a while, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, fast forward us right to the end. Alright, so the, uh, the backup has completed. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to wipe the data, do a factory reset, and delete all user data. And now I'm going to wipe the cache partition. Okay, now I'm going to install zip from SD card now we're going to choose zip from SD card. Now it's remember we put it in a folder called Flash Me. And I see Flash Me there near the bottom of the list. So I'm scrolling all the way to the bottom. And there it is, GTAB Vegan 1.00 Beta 1. And uh, it says this cannot be undone. Yes, install. So hey, very nice, Robeat. He put this whole vegan tab thing there. That's pretty sweet. Getting fancy. So it says installing boot image, installing vanilla Vega or Vega hacked system. And so uh, I'm going to wait for that to happen. And as soon as it is done, we will continue with the process. So that was actually very quick. Um, um, it, it took less than a minute. So we're going to back up and uh, now we're going to tell it to reboot the system now. 
And so we are going to watch and see what happens here. I, I'm kind of surprised they haven't replaced the uh, the ViewSonic birds with uh, something for vegan. But uh, that's just me. Not that I mind the birdies. So again, this is all pretty familiar. Um, so far, everything looks very similar to uh, what the boot up looks like on most of the other mods, with the exception of Cyanogen, which has the the blue circular logo that does that whole circle thing there. Now, just like always, the first time you install um, one of the one of these firmwares onto the G tablet, it does take a little bit longer to get started. All right, so it says, "Welcome to the Vegan Tab V1 Beta One," and we'll press on the Android. We will skip learning how to use our G tablet. I think we're familiar. We're going to skip setting up an account until we get wireless working. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll do Google location stuff. We'll just say next. And uh, we will select the time zone. And unfortunately, that time is correct because it's really late or early, depending on how you look at these things. And now it says we have two different choices of launchers to do to use here. I'm just going to choose the top one for now. I don't know what that did. Let's see what the second launcher does. Interesting. So the second launcher gives you this bar on the bottom. Now what's interesting about it is there's Facebook and Twitter. Neither of those are installed. If I go back to the first launcher, it doesn't have those on the bottom. So that's a pretty neat feature that they put in there. Let's take a look and see what menu comes up. Okay, I like the sensor. Now, this is one thing that always crash, crashed out before. Yeah, you get a force close if you try and select the G sensor from settings. But that's, that's a known issue, so that's why I went there. All right, one of the first things I want to do is set up wireless, uh, Wi-Fi settings, and EdgeNet. There's my, there's my network. I'm going to go ahead and set this up. All right, I just put in my uh, password, and we're going to connect. There we go, obtaining IP address. And connected. So we'll use the soft home button there, and I'm going to go ahead and tell it to use the the first launcher, only because I'm uh, more fond of not having that stuff on the bottom. So one of the first things we want to take a look at, oh, that's very nice and smooth. I like how that just kind of fades in. We're going to look at the marketplace. I'm not expecting it to uh, work properly. Remember, I haven't even added my accounts yet, so... I already have a Google account, yes. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my Google account. Okay, and uh says that... Uh, yep, the Google account is now linked to this... It said this phone, but as of course we know it's a tablet. We accept the terms. No matching content. So I'm going to have to do the... Um, the uh, marketplace hack. Because as you see, I mean, 
if if it was working properly, we'd see the two Angry Birds as the very the very top free games, and we're not seeing that now. So I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, do the marketplace hack while we're before we do that. What I want to do is. Uh, be able to get to my file system so I can install the stuff so in vegan they don't have the same file manager I was used to this is iFile manager I've never used this before but okay let's find my download folder and now we want to look uh, look for titanium backup which is right here this is necessary for the for the hack we're going to do. Now I've actually made a tutorial specifically for this already on how to do this, but since I'm setting up a brand new install of uh, of the vegan, we might as well just go through the whole thing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go back home. Um, I just want to kind of look at some of the other things on here. This is pretty slick so far. I'm, I'm digging this. It's a very pretty. Oh, nice. The swipe is very nice. So just like on my Evo, the notification bar comes down very nicely from the top. This is a pretty nice launcher. Now we're going to go to Applications running services and we're going to look for the Google services framework now this is interesting I don't know how I'll be able to select that services manage applications all maybe we have to go with this okay there we go this is what I was looking for Google services framework we're gonna force stop we'll go back the next thing we have to force force stop is the market I'm gonna force stop that one go back home go over here to titanium backup go to backup restore and now we're going to look for the Google Framework. Google Services Framework. And now we're going to wipe data. Takes it a couple seconds. And it says data wipe complete. We'll press home. Now when I go to the marketplace it should give us the error. So we should get an error right here in the middle there it is, an error has occurred, perfect that is what we wanted to see now we're going to reboot the device nice and then when it All powers right, so up, now we're going to power it back up and uh, see if the marketplace works and if it does which I'm expecting it to do then we're going to go ahead and install some stuff and uh, see how this vegan 1.00 beta works. Very fast. That booted up super fast. Very nice. Um, wow, lock screen. Just like uh, just like on my phone. I told me I have email. So uh, very nice. We have the notification right here of email. Let's check out the browser real quick while we're at it. Let's take a look at, uh, oh, let's look at Engadget.
Now loaded up pretty nicely. Scrolling is uh, pretty smooth. Wow, multi-touch is really nice on this browser. I don't know what browser they're using. It might be just a stock browser, but pretty nice. Multi-touch is very sweet. This is, at least right here on this page, multi-touch works pretty much like it does on my daughter's iPad. Now it's one of the interesting things that when you notice when you're when you scroll really fast on this browser, on the iPad if you scroll too fast, it it's like creating images of the page that so you actually have this this like gray and white grid checker whatever. That doesn't really happen on Android. Android actually loads the page in just like if uh you're on your desktop and it loads the whole page. So when it's loaded, it's loaded. Uh it's not like that on the iPad. And look how fast that scrolls. Very nice. Um, using the soft buttons, <laughs> sweet, very nice. Uh, let's look at the calendar. I wonder if uh, calendar is working. So yeah, it says uh, it says it is, and there you go. There's some of my appointments starting to show up. I don't well, not appointments. They're um, band practice, for example. <laughs> All right, I'm digging it. So it looks like the Google Apps work. Now let's go to the ever important marketplace. And there we go. Look at this. We go to games, all games, top free, and there's Angry Birds. Robeat's favorite game. We'll go ahead and install that. We'll also take a look at, these are all the things that uh, I've either, per yeah, that I've purchased. So I will be making a video to look at the uh, Super Nintendo emulator later. And it says Angry Birds is still installing. I do like that notification bar on here, that's very nice. Speed is uh, pretty much what I expect. There's uh, says no weather information. I wonder if I have to set the weather here. Set a location, and we will do that. I don't know where Pinehurst is. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know why it's calling our home Pinehurst. That's whatever. All right, uh, let's see here for widgets. Let's put the YouTube on there. Of course, yeah, we accept that. Let's take a look at a YouTube video. What's happening, guys? You know, I'm a pretty good driver, but I'm also guilty of parking over the line, like this chick. You know, I'm going to say that that was an illegal U turn. And nice. I cannot complain. Let's, uh, you know what? I'm going to see if any of my videos come up here. Yep, here we go. <laughs> a slipshot comparison. Yeah, that's pretty much what that was. Oh, interesting. So it has a, uh, the HQ button on the top. Let's see if I could find an HQ video. I'm sorry, HQ, uh, high quality video. Um, Whoops, I just clicked on some accent. Let's take a look at, um, let's do a search on something like 1080p HD music, or just H 1080p video. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so this is still the the mobile application obviously 
I mean, it looks good, and it's, you know, pretty smooth. But the problem is that it's not super, super sharp. Now if we get out of that, and let's look at the file manager, and see a movie on here. Here it is, the Born Ultimatum trailer. What a difference. Now this is 1080p. And uh Wow. Really nice. It's uh this looks good. And the really cool part is I haven't installed uh normally I look at my videos with uh Rock Player, but I haven't had to do that. Let's see what happens if I look at uh, REST development. Very nice. Okay, right Alright, let's take a look at the gallery. Now it's the first time it's seen my images, so it's still loading up the uh, little previews here. This always happens uh, when I load up a new ROM and it's uh, going through the images. But once they're in there, it's pretty good. One of my favorite pictures. It's my daughter. Alright, so. Looks like uh, the gallery works pretty well. Let's see what else we got here. I know, everybody wants to see Angry Birds. Oh, I know what we need to do. We need to do a Quadrant, don't we? Let's get out of this and uh, install Quadrant and see how we're doing. I do like this notification bar. I'm really digging that. Okay, we're running the full benchmark. And so we will let it do its thing. I do hope that this video answers questions uh, for you and uh, you know lets you see um, just how awesome not only is the G tablet but uh, how easy the process is to go from one firmware to another. Uh, I get a lot of questions, a lot of emails, uh, PMs, and comments um, asking about how difficult it is to move from. Uh, from the standard ROM to one of these custom ROMs and as you just saw I went from one custom ROM to another and quite frankly there's no difference in going from the stock ROM to one of these ROMs the only difference being that you have to install obviously Clockwork Mod uh, 2325 so you know I'm <laughs> I'm pleased as punch with that score the highest I've ever gotten was a 20 I think it was 2483 and that was on one of the experimental Tegra um, driver mods but uh, no, no complaints here. That's actually a really, really good score. Um, so I'm going to do some customization here and get things looking the way I like them. As you, as you've seen in my other videos, I have a, a certain look that I like, and I like to have uh, certain icons here on the page. And uh, we'll get that set up here shortly. I'll do a little bit more messing around with the G Tab running uh, this Vegan uh, 1.00 and. Uh, I will probably be back with some more videos. Thanks for watching. Uh, once again, please uh, give me some thumbs up or comments or, or messages or something. Let me know how you like these videos. And uh, if there's anything else you want to see or uh, any tutorials uh, that you'd like, let me know. Um, I will say that uh, when it comes to a clockwork mod uh, video, 
Um, I will probably take that plunge uh, maybe Friday, but uh, that means wiping out my, my tablet completely. And, uh, you know, I can do that, but, uh, you know, we'll see. Take care, everyone. Edge out.